I need some sort of nerd themed flag. Some sort of something that's a nerd themed flag. That's what I need. I need a nerd themed flag. Because that way, <clears throat> I think that that will effectively cover all areas of material that I cover. I think I'll have generally a flag for just about everything. I need a nerd flag of some sort. What could that be? I don't know. But I need a nerd flag of some sort. So that that way, when you guys see the thumbnail of the video, you can tell from the thumbnail of the video, hey, he's doing nerd shit, I don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> most of you guys don't care whenever I do the nerd stuff. But whatever, I, I still think it's funny to talk about it, and some of you do enjoy it. So, the, the pizza's here. Hold on. <laughs> ah, the food's here. <coughs> smells good, too. Um, so... I don't know. I, I thought of it. <laughs> I thought of it. Because I thought of it. I don't know why. But, uh... I wonder. I wonder if the pizza guy was looking at me like, "You're still wearing your hat, like inside your hat." <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. But whatever. Um, I also don't know if he heard me. Just fucking screaming to myself in here. Anyways, so the new trailer, Captain Marvel, has come out. I, I think that they made a valiant effort to attempt to give the movie an opportunity to address the criticisms. Fair enough. I think they wanted to give the movie an opportunity to address the criticism. So I think that they cut up parts to try and make people understand, maybe, no really, you don't need to be scared, this is going to be good. And I think, I think it was hysterical. <laughs> We're going to watch part of it, right? We're going to watch almost 30 seconds, I think, of it. <laughs> We're going to watch the funny parts. The first thing they do, and I left in, me starting the video and the timestamp and everything so you can fucking see that I didn't fuck with this, right? <laughs> the first thing they address, I think, is the thing that they probably thought was the worst of it all. <laughs> <laughs> So, scrolls are the bad guys. Grandma! Everybody remembers Grandma, right? What happened with Grandma again? Oh, yeah! The superhero punched an old lady. I can't believe they're gonna open with superhero punches the old lady. But do they? I mean, I've never actually seen an old lady get punched by a superhero. But I don't think old ladies look back at superheroes like that when they've just been punched full force. There might be more to grandma than seems the eye. Than seems the eye. <laughs> I just said, then seems the up. You gather what I mean. <laughs> Apparently, Grandma is not only badass, but not as badass as our hero. So, what happens immediately, immediately after this scene in the trailer? And you're a Cree. A race of noble warriors. Heroes.
I mean, I, you know what, honestly, I don't know, because I really don't know a lot about, about Captain Marvel, because I didn't, I didn't really read a lot of Captain Marvel, I never really knew much, I mean, I didn't really know Captain Marvel, I didn't know Captain Marvel was a thing, my world was Spider-Man and the X-Men, so I, I don't know, I didn't know Captain Marvel was a thing, and then by the time I knew Captain Marvel was a thing, I was like, and I looked up who she was, and I was like, oh, and then I, I, I was an adult at that point. Not that adults don't read comic books. I still have a box of comic books right there, and every once in a while I'll dig into it and read them. But what I'm saying is, I had cooler things to spend my money on than comic books. <laughs> this is essentially what it is. So, um, yeah, I never got into Captain Marvel. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where they're going with her, with her origin here. But I think, and again, I don't know if this is actually the way it went, went or not. I, I, I don't know. But I think that they're going to try and spin that she was picked up by the Kree, who are noble hero people. Right? <laughs> And, and then, like, the entirety of the planet decided to all get in on this ruse. We're all going to be good people. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I think what it is is that she's going to find out, oh, you guys are actually bad people. And they're going to go, well, yeah, but we all tricked you, you know? And, like, that's going to be the thing, and then she's going to turn against the Kree and this girl. Like, dude, it... <sighs> I, I, I just... I... I don't know. I think, that, I think, honestly, the coolest thing about this movie for me, because I've decided that I'm going to see it, and only for this reason, I think Phil Coulson is going to make the movie. Just say, because I I think that this is gonna actually tie in a lot with Agents of Shield, and we're gonna learn a lot of things that really only people who watch Agents of Shield would kind of catch. And I've watched all of Agents of Shield, so I want to catch all this, and that's gonna be kind of fun for me. So that alone is the reason why my love for Agents of Shield is going to make me watch. Really, my love for Phil Coulson is going to make me want to watch this movie. But nevertheless, all right, all right. So we, we've already kind of figured out the plot. Oh, spoilers. Shit. Well, I kind of figured out what I think is going to wind up being the plot. We'll find out if I'm right or wrong whenever I watch the movie. Well, whenever you guys watch the movie. I, I won't watch the movie till fucking who even knows. I don't know. But, yeah. So, um... Like, I still haven't watched Ant-Man and the Wasp. Noble warrior heroes. Oh, yeah. She smiles. So, all right. Punch Grandma. Whoa, what the fuck? Hold on. Grandma's actually a real badass motherfucker. Okay. They're hoping we can forgive you for Grandma. Right? Then, bitch don't smile. Now, I always thought that was fucking stupid. Bitch don't have facial expressions, like, period, at all. But, everybody decided to say she doesn't smile. Because, you know, trolls gotta be trolls, and it, it doesn't help, man. It doesn't fucking help. Just say what you mean. So, they show her smiling. Um, other things that I thought were funny about the trailer, uh, Hillary Clinton 
is going to be in this movie, and she actually coins her her catchphrase for when she brainwashes people. One of us. Oh yeah, I'm totally going to keep that clip because that's funny. Um, but yeah, so Hillary Clinton's in it, making her acting debut, technically. I mean, she did do the one uh, Saturday Night Live. Now she's in Captain Marvel. It's amazing how her career is blown up. So, that's funny. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> so I was like, you know, maybe this might not be that bad. The fight scene in the train looked kind of cool. You know, I imagine there's a lot more to it. That was a pretty hard cut, you know. So I imagine there's a hell of a lot more to it. But that, you know, that looked like that might be cool. Phil Coulson's gonna be in it, you know. Like you, you gotta, you gotta say that. Hillary Clinton, one of us, you know. That's that's awesome. But then they let fucking what's her name, Brie Larson. They let her speak, and it just ruins everything. I'm not going to fight your war. I'm going to end it. I'm not going to fight your war. I'm going to end it. <laughs> Dude. And that, like, face shoot. I'm going to end it. I'm like, oh my god. God, she's supposed to be an adult woman. Why is she talking like a bratty cunt teenager? Like, what? I'm gonna be in your war. I'm gonna end it. <laughs> Fuck me. So, yeah. I had thought originally, maybe her acting will be fine. It'll just be the fact that her face is made of wood, and that will be fine. But, I think I just figured out what I'm going to title this video. Brie Larson doesn't scare me. 